When I came up with the idea, I thought, oh, this will be hard because it will be hard to find five I really liked. When I actually sat down to think about it, just the opposite was true. It was hard to limit the list. Starting at number five, we've got Out of Africa. It was, if you look back at my high school yearbook from 1986, it was my favorite movie. It was the most romantic story of all time at the time that I watched it. I thought that love affair, that, that sort of unrequited love between them, I thought that was so romantic as an 18-year-old woman. As a 47-year-old woman, I want to beat the guy to death with my cane. It frustrates me to no end now because now I realize, oh my goodness, she is not being loved properly. But at that point in time, it's, it struck me as so romantic. There's a beautiful part at the end of the movie where he dies and she stands at his graveside and she reads a poem by A.E. Hausman called To an a Athlete Dying Young. That had such an impact on me that 20 years later when my brother died young, I read that at his funeral when I eulogized him. So the movie was spectacular. It was one of those times that when I read the book afterwards, I was disappointed. It's sort of loosely based on her travels to Africa, but it, it doesn't at all tell the story that the movie tells. Number four is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. When I read Gone Girl, I was frustrated at the end. Like I know life does not always turn out the way you want it to, but the bad person has to get their comeuppance at some point. And when that book ended, it left me so unsatisfied. I wanted to like find that character and give her my comeuppance myself. But in the movie, the way they chose to end it, they actually went beyond where the book ended and they give you a little bit more of a wrap up. So it had more satisfaction factor at the end of it for me. That's why I think it was better than the book. In the number three spot is The Devil Wears Prada. I love this movie in a way I cannot even <laughs> express in words. It's kind of loosely based on the notion of Anna Wintour, the editor of Vogue magazine. But the visuals in the movie are so beautiful, like the clothing and the setting and the music. It has such a feel. It is a movie where if I'm not in a great mood, I will put that movie on and I will instantly be in a great mood. It's based on the book by Lauren Weisberger. Now I had watched the movie probably 15 times before I ever went and read the book. The book was really disappointing. It didn't, um, it didn't develop the relationships the same way. It didn't develop the characters the same way. So that was another situation where I thought the movie was incredible and the book was e -e. Number two, and this was a hard one, Dolores Claiborne based on the book by Stephen King. What amazes me about Dolores Claiborne is usually Stephen King books don't translate well. They just, I think because they are so like outside the realm of, of reality that what makes the book so good is that your mind imagines the landscape. And when someone else tries to create that landscape in a movie, it just doesn't work. Dreamcatcher is one of my favorite Stephen King books. The movie adaptation was horrible. Uh, I thought the same thing of Thinner. Like there are just so many times where it just doesn't work when you try to put Stephen King into a movie. But with Dolores Claiborne and those characters, it's such an incredible movie. And ultimately, even though that story is kind of set like it's a, a murder mystery, it's, it's, there's a lot of uh, angst in it. I think it's really a book and a movie about the relationship between three different women from three different generations and I so get turned on by those kinds of relationship stories. Now at number one, the incredible work of Ang Lee when he did Sense and Sensibility. Two reasons why it is my favorite, favorite adaptation. One is that Ang Lee made it, so anything he makes I, I love. But also when you put Emma Thompson in a period piece, you cannot go wrong. The setting was so beautiful. The cinematography, like 
I am not a hiker. I do not exercise. I don't even walk. But when I watch that sense and sensibility, like I want to put on a dress and walk in the fields and like have the rain hit me. I mean, I'm, I'm not an outdoor girl, but that movie makes me want to go outdoors. I suddenly want to paint. I want to learn how to play the piano. Uh, there's just so much going on in that movie that makes it so beautiful beautiful satisfying and all the actors bring their a game in it you really get the sense that you have been transported back in time to jane austen's era and her environment so there it is those are the five books that in my opinion are the best book to movie adaptations thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video